Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of October general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Pisces, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Mr. Meaner by Foster Silvers. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, I I'm not joking. I literally heard if love is a crime. Well, it was it. I had to write it down. Okay, yeah. So if love is a crime, get ready to do the time. That's what I heard. I feel like some of you guys are falling hard for someone. And it makes a lot of sense because the name of the song is misdemeanor. And you know, it's like a charge or offense by law. I really feel like some of you all are falling hard for someone or someone is falling extremely hard for you. If you are single, definitely get ready for this type of energy because you could be falling in love with somebody like immediately. If you're already in a relationship, literally, it's like you are so wrapped up in this person that you couldn't imagine yourself with anyone else. And just as I said, the time was 111. So I definitely feel like this is resonating for a lot of you all, especially on a spiritual level. You and this person may feel like you have a very strong spiritual connection also. So even intuitive, I'm getting that. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Here's the five. Wow. Why you got these files down here? Here's the five. Wow. And just as I said, that the fire. You see that? How your candle literally just went out. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So you get the five of swords and you get the five of pentacles. Five. Wow. This is smoking a lot. Look at that. It is smoking a lot. That's your candle. And it just went out. Huh. Feeding the flame, I'm hearing. Okay. So fives and neurology talks about challenges, also changes. Um. With the five of pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, and the five of swords, conflicts, arguments, and disagreements. But five plus five is ten, and ten in numerology talks about ending cycles, coming full circle. We are also in the tenth month. So I feel like I'm, I am getting that somebody is fighting for a relationship where they felt left out in the cold in. Yeah, because I'm hearing if love, if love is a crime, you're ready to do the time. If somebody's ready to do the time. Like, I don't care. I'll fight for this. I just don't want to be left out in the cold because if you look at her hand, it's like she's asking questions and he's trying to explain himself. Could be dealing with an air sign or an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, um, Sylvester, the artist who sings this song, is a Pisces, a fellow Piscean. I don't know if I said that because I'm, you know, I'm channeling messages right now, but he's a fellow of Piscean. So I definitely feel like this is you. You may have felt left out in the cold by, by a love interest. Or love interest feels like you left them out in the cold. Now, as far as new love, something could begin and end just as quickly. Because you see how, how that fire went out? Like, it just, like, it, it flashed. The flames and passion was so strong. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't. You get what I'm saying? So, let's see what we get for you guys. So I'm getting quite a few messages here. With both of those fires, that lets me know, like, you know, there is dual messages there. But then you have the world card, travel distance for a movement. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, also Aquarius. Um, The world card is moving forward for sure. Yeah, so I feel like just something that could have moved in. You, some, Oh, I heard moved in. Somebody could move in with you very quickly or you could have moved in with them very quickly. Again, this is general, so I want to apply to everyone. But something, someone could have moved in with someone very quickly and then all of a sudden it's just like struggle. And then also for those, yeah, see, look, right behind, I've seen that peeking from up under the death card. Okay, Scorpio energy, but a death is ending. I'm telling you, and she's she's moving away from that. So someone is definitely leaving a situation or did leave a situation. For some of you all, there could be a situation that you're leaving a Scorpio season. Because this also, this is Scorpio and this energy also, and they have Scorpio here. So you have Scorpio twice. I definitely feel like something's going to go down a Scorpio season. Some of you all may kick somebody to the curb. Ooh, okay, so be careful because, again, going back to the name of the song is misdemeanor. Somebody could, be, it could be cause of, somebody could call the police on someone because things could be, ooh, okay. Things could get a little chaotic because remember in the beginning, you had the five of swords as conflict, arguments, disagreements, like actual confrontation. So somebody could call the police. Some, I'm, okay, I'm hearing property damage, the sun card, the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. So it's like, after all the drama... There's some happiness to come out of this situation for sure. You have to make a choice about which direction you're going to go in with this situation. 
You got a lot going on here, my friends. So you have the hair fine. I'm sorry, hermit Virgo energy. Some of y'all could have left someone in Virgo season, which we recently just left out of. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo person. Okay. So we have wow. Okay, I have to show you this. You have a Queen of Cups, that could be you, male or female, and then you have a King of Wands. Somebody could lose their temper. I'm just getting it. Look how he looks so intense. Again, it could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, Aries, strong Leo, because you just had the sun, and this definitely relates to Leo. Okay, and then I'm seeing the sun again. Yeah, some of you guys could be definitely dealing with a Leo or something that happened in Leo season, which is July, August. Again, we're going to get the moon, the card that comes before, and the card that comes after. Wow. So I just want to show you this. Okay. So here's your card. You got the death card. You got the world card. You got the magician. So you got one, two, three, four major arcanas, and then the five of wands, conflict, arguments, disagreements. I'm going to say again, this could be like some actual drama. You possibly have to end something with someone because there was too much drama and conflict. And because I heard <laughs> the name of the song is Mr. Mina, ooh-wee. It's, it's kind of giving me the vibe, for real. Yeah, some of you guys are leaving the situation. Because I feel like it was a lot of drama with somebody who was very manipulative. Again, Virgo energy once more. You already hit the Hermit, Virgo. Then you got Virgo and Gemini. Huh. Okay, so, yeah. Some of you guys can literally be leaving and relocating because you were dealing with a situation that was full of drama. For some of y'all, there actually could have been physical drama here. And some, I'm getting somebody called the police. Okay, see. Oh Lord. Okay. Let's see. Y'all last couple readings been a bomb now. Don't don't start here. Okay. We're not doing this energy. You know I don't claim that I'm a tourist moon, so I love love, but I don't lie about what I pick up either. So you had a star card, which we're feeling the healing, Aquarius energy. I'm gonna say again, I definitely feel as though at the end of something, I feel like there's a lot of healing that's gonna come out of it. So that's positive. This is major kind of so that's definite. But I do feel like some type of conflict, even if it's not physical, it was just causing a lot of drama. This is drama and chaos. It was causing a lot of drama, and I feel like um, you you definitely have to end something. Or you're going to be ending something. It's part of the deck so we can shuffle. Judgment card, reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. So I feel like somebody wants to come back for some of you all. And for others, the, the judgment is that the universe is like, okay, we'll take you out of that situation because it was burying you. They're in caskets. For some of y'all, this situation was burying you. Emotionally, especially because that's water there that they're in. It was too emotionally... It was too much. Seven of Swords. Lie, cheat, manipulate, sneak, conniver, walk right towards the judgment card, okay? You're trying to do some healing. And then this lie keeps trying to tiptoe their way back into your life. Or this person who's full of deception. Ace of Cups. I like it. So, you or your person's first and last initial could be W-M-T-J-C-U-H-W. I'm also getting A and P. Um, for those of you who are single, you have a new love interest coming in on a Tuesday, a Thursday, a Wednesday, or a Monday. And you're done with liars, is what I'm getting. You're done with liars, but also... See, that's what I said. When I seen that sun earlier, I feel like you're healing from a past situation. For some of you all, this already took place. Yeah, something heartbreaking already took place. Yep, that's what I'm getting. Some of you guys, you're leaving behind a either Scorpio specifically or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly fire also, because you have strong Leo. Wow, as soon as I said that, oh my God. Okay, some of you guys definitely, because he's in reverse, some of you guys definitely left a fire sign or you left this person in Leo season. Again, July, because you're keeping that seven of swords or something in, in July for some of you all. Let's get a clarifying for the death card for Pisces. Some will rise in Venus individuals. That one didn't want to go back in. Hey, man, in reverse. Yep. So you see a situation for what it truly is. This is connected with your energy also. Also Aquarius. Um, you see a situation for what it is or you've seen a situation for what it is and you're ending it. For some of you all, you are deeply and profoundly in love with the idea of love or in love with just love. Some people are like that. Again, my moon is in Taurus, which is ruled by the planet of love, so I completely resonate with that. But for some of you all, you could have been extremely enamored with trying to build this relationship and, and try to make this union stay intact. But then you've seen it for what it was, and you realize that it was a lot of drama associated with it. And you're like, yeah, this got to go. I'm going to get you gone. You got to get up out of my life. I'm going to get you gone. <laughs> you got the two of cups in reverse, and here you go again with this damn Leo energy. So for some of you all, it was definitely a Leo who got kicked to the curb here? Even with the world card, you got Leo. Or this could have been in Leo season. Something with Leo. 
This person, even if they're not a Leo sun, they have strong Leo placements in their chart. Let's get a clarifying for the Five of Wands. Okay. Two of Swords. Guarding this defensiveness um, in her energy, but it's also talking about needing to make a decision, needing to make a choice. For some of you guys, you could have felt like, I don't know what to do. Because she's not, she's sitting, which means she's staying put, stuck in between a rock and a hard place. But she's on guard and she has her guards across her heart. A lot of you guys are very much guarded because of something that you've been through that was full of drama, full of chaos. But staying put, it could be just mentally. Swords, mental, could just be mentally still in that energy. Let's see what's up under here. Man, what's up? Who is this Leo? You got strong Leo here in this energy. And, it, and if it's dealing with a Leo person, this person is very charismatic. They may have some bit of a stronghold on your mental because if you notice, she has a strong hold on this lion's mouth trying to make sure he doesn't growl, he doesn't roar, he doesn't attack. But he's allowing himself to be submissive to her. So I feel like some of you guys were very submissive in this relationship with this person or in this connection. May have not even really spoke your truth in this situation. Yeah, okay. So again, what I was saying, remember, just look at this image. And I, I literally said, if love is a crime... Get ready to do the time. And it's like somebody is being submissive to love or was submissive to love. Because they weren't seeing things for how it truly was. But now you're getting ready to. Regardless of what cards it comes with, if it's a major icon, it trumps that card. So right here, she's not seeing things clearly in reverse. Because see, right, he's blindfolded like her. He doesn't see the world truly for what it is. In reverse, that's like an aha moment. Like, boom, light bulb moment. So you guys are seeing the situation for what it truly is. Now, I feel like some of you guys are, are making your move. You're, you're headed out of a situation. Because you're realizing, again, I'm going to say it's too much chaos, too much drama here. Also, again, another five. Some of you guys can be seeing five, five, five. Because remember, in the beginning, we had the five of pentacles. What was it? Five of pentacles, five of swords. Now you have five of wands. So some of you guys need to go ahead and Google angel number five, five, five. Leave it in the comment section. You guys know I always look at the comments and I respond. Angel number 555 and see how this message resonates for you because I feel like it will resonate for quite a few of you all. Okay? So Pisces, someone rising to Venus and the visuals as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.